Hey guys, welcome back to another Far Cry 3 gameplay commentary. My name is Kavatio, and I'm going to take your tip and slow down whenever I do a commentary because um, in the last episode, some of you guys were um, messaging me, telling me that I speak too fast, repeat myself too much. And you know, I understand that. I actually watched the video again, and I realized that I do speak too fast and say the same thing a lot of times. So I'm going to slow down whenever I do gameplay commentaries. Just for you guys. Um, in today's video, we're going to cover this guy's map. I do not remember what the name of the map was or who made it. Luckily for him, because this is how you, you do not make a map. You do not make a map like this. This map is very dumb. Um, he only used one object throughout the whole map and just placed it everywhere. I mean, even though I had fun, I had fun because, um, you know, it's a... It's, uh, um, unranked match where you can do whatever you want and not care about your your KD, your, your leveling up, all that good stuff. You can't care about it in this um in custom maps unless you're playing in a map that that's that went gold and then got picked to go in, into ranked lobbies. Until that happens, you you don't have to worry about custom maps. Um so that's pretty cool. Um I had fun though cuz I was playing with a couple of dudes and we were just doing stupid stuff. Um but overall, this map, uh, if I were to rate it, I would give it a really bad score just because the guy just used one object throughout the whole entire um, map when he was making it. Also, it's unbalanced. For example, um, <laughs> there's like two things that you could climb up on. I don't, know, I don't know if you could see it on the video, but there's two things that you could climb up on. And one of them, you could see right through it, under, under it. You could see right under it, right through it, and it's pretty stupid. Also, um, one team spawns up there while the other team spawns on the ground getting killed. So it's kind of like, well, that's, that's kind of lame. Nobody wants to play a game like that. And yeah, like when you make a map, you want to have a variety and a very nice, like, um, kind of like a nice pattern to where people could actually um, go to cover and stuff like that. You, you just can't make it into a, a cube with a bunch of walls everywhere and think that it's going to be a good map because at the end of the day um, people might have fun because it's unranked and they just do whatever but they don't take your map serious enough to actually give it a good score they'll probably give it a um they'll probably give it like a like an average score but um i do not expect this kind of map to go gold or even go into a ranked lobby anytime soon um, for those of you guys out there that are new to making maps, um, one good tip that I that I could give you is to use as much different objects as possible, and to also place like detailed objects, for example, like tables, sofas, chairs, uh, bottles, you know, all the little things that um, you don't think about when you're making your map. You like, you know, I want to make a nice map, this and that. But after you're done making like the map itself, you know, the way the place that you can walk in and all that stuff. After you're done doing that. What you want to do is you want to go back to your map and you want to place all the little detailed objects that you could place into um you run out of uh, either performance or um you run out of uh objects to place um once again sorry for my stuttering uh i talk pretty fast because I'm, I'm, I'm hispanic and that's what we do you know we just talk fast also i can't breathe because i just ate some pizza and i'm like full seriously um but uh, the gun that I'm using in this video is the MP5K. I have a uh, Red Tiger camo on I forgot what it was called. I think it was MK5 camo. Um, one thing that this game has is that um, camos aren't called camos. They're called, they're called mods. And the mods actually alter the way your weapon behave. For example, the mod that I have on right now, slash camo, it makes my gun stronger. Like the bullet damage is stronger, but the recoil is way higher. And it's a good balance. It has a little bit of a flair to the whole camo thing. Um, I kind of wish they didn't have something that added uh, more strength to your to your gun and stuff that added more um, stuff that added like more um, health to your character. They do have that in this game, but you get over it. Um, you adjust to it. And that's the good thing about this game. It's very adjustable. Um, it's pretty fun to play, especially in custom maps. It's something that I love about this game. Also, um, something that's weird. The, my character sounds like Homer Simpson. Yeah, you know Homer Simpson from the from the TV show. Homer Simpson sounds just like that guy. So um, in the chat, uh, you can see it right there in the chat, bro. Is my guy Homer Simpson? Because I swear to God, like, what, what do you guys think? Can you hear him? Does, does he even sound like Homer Simpson? Um, it's pretty weird. Uh, 
But yeah, I did run out of ammo at one point in this match, so I pick up different weapons, and then I run out of ammo in those weapons, and I'm screwed. Um, but like I was saying, guys, uh, good luck out there making maps, but I would not recommend this map. If I, if I remember the name of the map and the character, the person that made it, I will, um, you know, write it down to you guys to never play this map. Um, unless you're like looking for a map where you can just uh, YY 360 no scope people. This map is not good. Um, it's, it's a square with like random stuff on it and very, very bad um, spawns. I, I got spawn killed a bunch of times, but I still had fun because, like, like I said, it was unranked. But um, at the end of the day, when I vote for maps, like, because you, after you're done with a map, you can actually vote whether you like it or not, or whether you recommend it to go up into a new tier. Um, this game, this game has three different tiers for maps. Well, four actually. Um, you have your bronze maps, which is where your map goes to right when you make it and upload it. Then you have your silver map, which is where the map goes to if people like it. Um, if people love the map, it will go to gold. And then if Ubisoft look at, looks at your map after it's in gold, they usually do. They say they're going to look at your map after it goes gold. If they like it enough, if they feel like it's very professional, they're going to upload it into the ranked servers where you can actually play uh, in, in a custom map on ranked matches. That's, that's pretty epic. Uh, it's the only game that I know you could do that in. I think besides Halo, I think you could do that in Halo. Um, but the, the maps in Halo, you know, it's just that same little um, block place everywhere and you can't change the terrain and all that stuff um something that guys uh that, that, like this guy right here should took an advantage of is like to like uh make the terrain part of your map he just put like a whole bunch of concrete crap everywhere <laughs> even though it, it looks weird um it's fun to play with friends but not fun to play competitively competitively or um to even take serious at all um but uh, I think I'm going to end this video now before it gets too, too long. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.